Columbus for Japan four weeks ago, 150 people saw him off at the airport. When he returned less than two weeks ago, 5,000 people were waiting to see him. Uh, here's a gentleman whose life has probably changed more in the last two weeks than anybody on this planet. Finally, the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, James Buster Douglas. <laughs> How you doing? How you, are you getting used to this yet? This kind yeah. of reaction? I am. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> do I call you champ? I, do I call you Buster? Or Mr. Douglas would be fine if you say so. <laughs> Buster's fine. Buster, congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. I saw that fight. It was a re remarkable fight. Your life is, uh, has turned around completely. Yes, it has. Uh, I've been pulled from every direction. Yeah. You know, it, it's strange because I guess up until the Tyson fight in Japan, you were known in boxing circles well uh, as a good heavyweight, but the general public around you, you were not known. And now you're probably known in every country in the world overnight. I'm sure How do you minutes. handle that? I mean, yes, 30 minutes means a lot, doesn't it? <laughs> 30 minutes really means a lot. Did you, uh, uh, do you ever think you'd see this day coming? Yes, I really believe that uh, once I got an opportunity to fight for the heavyweight championship of the world, that um, you know, I would have an opportunity to do a lot of things and it, it's, it's changed um for the best yeah. yeah do you find you have a lot more friends now buster the last few weeks <laughs> people calling you up and wanting things and wanting well, you yeah, to get I've, involved with I've, things uh, picked up the phone and there's been people on the other end that i don't have no idea how they got my number <laughs> it's funny how popular you can become all of a sudden when you're heavyweight champion of the world uh i read when you were over there that you had trouble even getting meal money while you were in Japan. You were treated a little, a little shabbily and not too polite when you well, were there. That's true. Well, <clears throat> um, from the promotional standpoint, uh, I had a little, little problem there, but the people, is, the people accepted me well. I felt yeah. uh, really comfortable in Japan. I was treated by the public great. You yeah. Know? Uh, but, yeah, I was treated as an opponent, you know. Um, not, not really looked upon to do anything. Right. You but know. you in your mind said but I knew, I knew, yeah. I knew that, uh, that I, I could whip this man, you know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you. Do you, think, do you think part of the reason for a lot of fighters, because he has a reputation, Iron Mike Tyson, the psychologically fighters say, well, a lot of them, when they went in, they said, I'm not going to win this fight. If I can get two or three rounds, I'll be lucky. Now you're proved that a guy like Tyson can be knocked out. Well, I, I knew he could be knocked out because he had he got sick the fight before, you know, and he pulled out. Right. So I knew it was human. You know, he caught a well, he had a cold. You know, yeah. everyday yeah. common cold. So yeah. he showed me that he was human, and I yeah. knew that he wasn't invincible. Now after the fight, there was this big press conference, Mike Tyson and Don King, sitting there, saying that you had been knocked out. Don King says, my fighter knocked Buster Douglas out. He got a, a, a long count. And uh, they were kind of trying to take it away from me. How would you feel about that? What was your reaction? I feel real bad. You know, uh, I won the fight <clears throat> fairly and squarely. And, and uh, for him to, you know, try to say, you know, to find anything to hold on to a victory was pretty, pretty, uh, and it wasn't good. It was, yeah. didn't show much sportsmanship. Yeah. You're you know? not too fond of Don King then, huh? Well, I was really, it really put a damper on the relationship. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that would do it. <laughs> Tell you what, we have to, uh, we have to, we do a commercial now and then, okay? Okay. Then we'll come back and talk some more. Stay where you are. We'll be right back. <laughs> we're talking to the new heavyweight champ, James Buster Douglas. I was, we were talking about Don King, and you said uh, it kind of impaired the relationship a little bit. And somebody said, you know, they were selling Don King dolls at the fight, and this was a Don King doll. I'll show this to you at the during the eighth round when, when, you went, when you went down. And this is Don King doll when Tyson went down. Uh, 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 could be possible, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Let me ask you about these different boxing councils. Now, the, uh, the IBF, the International Boxing Federation, recognized right. you right away, and the WBA, I think, um, and WBC did not for a moment. Now they all do. What do you think of the idea of having one governing body to handle all of boxing? Well, I don't, I don't really... Um know too much about you know that but I know that the IBF they acknowledged me right away right. 
You know, they went with what everybody else saw, you know, the new champion being crowned. Uh, and uh, the WBC and uh, WBA. Yeah, they fell in line afterwards, right? Right. 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 So now I'm, you know, related to his undisputed heavyweight champion. Right. It kind of put a damper on it. A little you know, bit. Yeah. Where was the one Japanese judge? What was he watching? Uh, they found out afterwards that he had Tyson ahead, and I saw the fight. Uh, and it was incredible. How, how, could, uh, how could the judge have Tyson ahead, well, do you think? Happen, this has happened before where, you know, judges have seen different fights yeah. than everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know which one he was watching because it was. I don't know what he was watching because it was so but, obvious. You know, fortunately enough, the, the verdict was made. I made the verdict without a doubt. You know, who's right. the winner? Uh, okay, now, now you know. everybody's saying who are you going to fight next? Uh, uh, the, uh, Evander Holyfield has been mentioned. Uh, um, people say you ought to have a rematch with Mike Tyson. Have you decided on anything yet, and well, where it's going to be held? I'm, I'm willing to fight. You know, anyone in the top ten. You know. Uh, I'm, a, I'm an undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. Right. I'm, I'm ready to take on all comers. Yeah. Uh, Who would you guess would be your next, if you had to make a calculated guess now? Well, really, I, any of them. Yeah. You know, um, you know George Foreman has been mentioned. That's right. Um, so, um, you know. What was your biggest purse, Buster, before this fight that you uh, made in boxing? I think it was uh, uh, 200000 200000 Well, that's yeah. a pretty good purse. Well, yeah, I was making, you know, a decent living. Yeah, uh, that's decent. Yeah. <laughs> That's more than decent. Yeah. But they're, they're talking about a 20 or 25 million dollar gate for this next fight, be right. it whoever. Does that sound reasonable? Um, that sounds a little reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> a little more reasonable than the 200,000, huh? Right, right. I think I, can, I think I can manage a nice living with that. Yeah. yeah. Um, are they, now, I know a lot of people are after you. Everybody, you know, wants you now. I understand they were trying to get it at Caesars Palace. They were trying to get it at the Mirage Hotel in Las mm -hmm. Vegas. That Donald Trump was thinking he was going to do it at the Trump Plaza. Have you decided where it might take place or when it might take place? Well, um, you know, they're still negotiating that. Uh, but See, looks... if you go to the Trump Plaza, you could get Donald and Ivana on the undercard. You know, to, uh, do that. <laughs> That's You know, if you see, but then, uh, in, that, in that case, I may be upstaged. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you might, you might be better off staying away from right, them right yeah, now. Yeah, they're, they're all over the papers. West, yeah. I know uh, you went over to Japan under kind of a cloud, a, a sad cloud. Uh, your mother had passed away in January, um, mm -hmm. and she was the one, from what I read about your career, who kind of got you started in a way because uh, when, you were, when you were a young kid, kids were picking on you, and she says, well, look, if you don't want to be picked on, go out and learn to take care of yourself. Is that, well, is she that... didn't put it like that. Yeah. It's more like... <laughs> She told me, when she grabbed me, pushed me down, told me, well, either it's them or me, and it was hands down, it was going to be them. That was it. <laughs> and then she also, once she did that, you know, she had to turn me off. Right. I mean, it just toned me down, because then parents were coming over, like, look what your son has done to my uh, son. sure. <laughs> because, I mean, it was like, uh, as soon as someone would say something, it was ripping to them. Is it true the one time you said you thought it was kind of the fighting, you didn't want to do it for a while because you had a, a, a basketball scholarship, if I remember, right. and you, you thought it was kind of brutal and you didn't know whether you wanted to yeah, be a, a well, fighter? Yeah, well, I didn't, I had no intentions on be a, being a professional fighter. Uh, I, I did it, you know, for five years as an amateur. Right. Uh, but I had no intentions at all. Yeah, I thought it was not brutal, but it was just hard. I know how well, how hard my father, you know, had fought and trained. And right. It took a lot of dedication, so it took some time to finally you know, realize, you know, my dream, you know, I had to have a f total focus. Well, you got it now, and you're just 29. You're yeah. probably, uh, you know, at the peak of your strength, and you could probably dominate the boxing for the next three or four years if you stay on, yeah. you know, if you stay yeah. in shape, right? How would you fight Tyson next time, if you fight him any differently than you did? You couldn't no. do much better, I mean. No, uh, I would fight him the same, you know, I fight him hard and hit him often. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, hit him hard and hit him often. Oh, look, I know him. Nick, I, I want to thank you for coming tonight, Buster. I know there are a lot of demands on your time, and everybody in the country wants, uh, wants a piece of you, and I, I really appreciate you coming here tonight. It's nice talking with you. Uh, thanks for having me, John. Well, congratulations, and, and good luck. Yeah. We'll watch you the next fight, huh? Thank you. Thanks, Buster. Thank you, Mike.